Morning, it's Patsy. So I popped on today because I was going to do a review of the Tower of the Witch's Garden by Sasha Graham and Natasha Elinsic. Um, but my thoughts went off on a bit of a tangent. So I thought I'd come and have a bit of a waffle about what I'd been thinking and just kind of put it out there and see what other people's thoughts and feelings on the subject were. One thing I will ad address with this deck um, I'm going to go through the cards showing you as a waffle. Um, I normally love Llewellyn cardstock. The backs are gorgeous. Move the backs. I normally love Llewellyn cardstock, but I do not like this cardstock. I don't know what they call it. It's that. It's got like a. That, whatever you call that cardstock. It started losing a bit of its shape already and it unless I squeeze it together and even then you can still see where it's coming you know sort of falling apart some of the cards are bowed and that's why it's doing that so that I'm not a fan of the cardstock the actual deck itself is a pretty deck I mean I was really excited about this coming out and uh, really looking forward to it um, and it is a nice intuitive deck and it's nice and bright and it reads well, um, it's just a shame about the cardstock. But as I was going through it, I'm gonna show you as I'm going through, um, I noticed that like most decks, there isn't really any age diversity. You've either got real young, body beautiful women images or the real old lady images. There's, none of that in between age group that middle age as i call it now i'm 56 now and i am in that crone stage of my life from the triple goddess the mother maiden maiden mother crone i should say um i've gone through the menopause um my children are all grown i've got grandchildren so I class myself as that time of life where I've hit the crone years. My body tells me I'm getting that, that stage. But do we see it in decks? Not really. You get the odd deck with the odd image. In my experience, you may have different experiences with the decks that you have. But they seem to all be um, beautiful, young, mother-like. 1920s that sort of age group images even when they're sort of showing what would you do expect older generations there's still these body beautiful images um perfect and i was thinking does that actually relate to real life um and but when you think about it in the society that we live in today it probably does. In the society that I grew up in, it was um, very easy, I think, to distinguish whether you was a younger woman, a middle-aged woman to an older woman. I mean, this is one of the um, aged cards here, and she's the Hierophant. Um, but here you can see she's, she's elderly, she's not middle-aged. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, when um, I was growing up, you could easily see, and I think through the ages when you look back, you could see um, that age difference in the generations. Nowadays, when you look at our society, do you see that? Are the cards more accurate than we think to real life? Because nowadays, with the onset of Botox fillers, um, better makeup, I suppose, um, and all those things. Women, well, anyone, not just women, but um, can look younger as they get older. So you don't really often see those age difference or be able to spot them, I should say. And with social media, with all the filters and everything, 
Um, again, you wouldn't necessarily know how old somebody was who was sitting beyond that picture because of all the the different things what help kind of rub out the lines, colour the hair and all the rest of it. But that is the society that we live in today, I think. Um, we, we don't live in a society where we used to, where you did see this age difference in, in people. It was just sort of, um, you, you kind of knew what sort of age group you was looking at and talking to, but the other day you, you just don't, I don't think. And I did notice um, a couple of um, posts this week on multimedia where a couple of famous people, I can't remember who it were now, but a couple of famous people who um, is decided they're going to go grey and they're not having all the Botox and whatever, you end up get, starting to get the wrinkles on the face. Now these ladies are 70s I should think, um, at the age where you would expect them to have grey hair and wrinkles and all the rest of it, but they was classed as ugly. This is a society that classes getting older as ugly. So my question is, like I say, are tarot cards more relevant to the, the society that we live in today than what we think? Because this in society is what everyone aims for, to look younger. They, nobody wants to look older or very few people want to look older. They want to stay looking young and beautiful as long as they can. I mean, we've got another older character here. And again, she's probably sort of in the 70s. So I, I do find with Dex that you get this real young body, beautiful images. Um, no diversity in their weights or anything. It's just sticks in, do you know what I mean? Um, or the really older 70s, 80s, that kind of figure. You don't get many in between. I would say this one is probably one of the cards in here, what is more of, to me, looks more of that middle age kind of age group, that sort of 50 sort of age group. Um, but it's not something you see often. It, it goes from one extreme to the other. You're really young, body beautiful, to old lady, old hag-like ladies um, that you hear about in the fairy stories and that kind of thing. But you don't get much in between. Um, that's the stages have just kind of been wiped out. But like I said, I think they are in our society. I think our society no longer has that diversity of age. So there we go. So that is showing you the witch's garden as I've flipped through. But yeah, I was really surprised to see these media posts um, calling these women ugly just because they decided that they wasn't going to do anything about their wrinkles. They wasn't going to do anything about their grey hair. They were just going to age gracefully. And I thought that was a real shame that we live in this society where everything has to be so young looking and perfect when that isn't possible for as the aging process. Aging process is natural. We should, we should you know, not many people um, get that chance to live that long to be able to embrace that age. And it's a shame that we try to hide it behind um, things to make us look younger and stay younger um, and that's a reflection in the tarot to me it, the society we live in and the tarot is a reflection um, be interesting to see what you think probably waffling a load of rubbish usually do um, but yeah I'll be interested to see what your thoughts are and I will speak to you all soon bye